Hey, you should all make sure that when the star flows by giving no praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shabbat, Shem Yahweh, Kodash. The belongings of the apostles of JMS, with honesty, brothers doing the work in truth, while sincerity. This is a uh, quick one. Another quote from um, that that uh, TV uh, series, uh, that Netflix series, Sabrina. Um, right, and uh, this one's pretty early on in the season. Actually, uh, basically, what it said is um the following phrase so basically like i said once again spoiler alert um you have the which called the cousin or right, the black guy uh speaking to sabrina or something like that uh, and then basically sabrina is half witch half human uh and uh which is called it? she she's basically trying to hold on to her human friends when her cousin is like like your cousin says little cousin this is you know what you what you want can't be done because you know the things that they deem important suddenly become so trivial to you you know for instance one of the things uh down here is time right you think about um you know a city like london where everyone's uh rushing right uh you know it's always a rush because everyone feels like they don't have enough time whereas you know for instance you contrast that to the kingdom right you're like you know, we're going to live forever, you know, eternity, right, and uh, uh, what else, things like um, uh, buying, uh, buying a house, I'm not, you know, not saying your brother's going off if he does that, but, you know, in this world, it's a, you must do this, you must save up to buy a house, it's, it's sort of like a, 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 a checkbox in life, um, you know, everything in this world is full of checkboxes, Right, you know, and I said, you're not going off if you do that because sometimes, uh, which call it owning is cheaper than renting. Um, uh, yeah, so you know, that's that's another thing, you know. But the way we look at things, we're like, look, man, you know, I can do this, I can do that, but you know, all this, all this is going to be destroyed, right? And uh, in fact, let me load up this precept thing about. Just put this on. Okay, so hopefully that uh, that uh, which call it that didn't uh, interrupt the video. I just put it on airplane mode, unless someone gives me a call. Yeah, let me just uh, load up this preset real quick as well. This is um, it's in Second Ezra's uh, Pilgrims. Fucking spell, it's life and death with me. Right, so let me grab this first, the second Peter is 3.11. So seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right, and that's ultimately it. We, uh, we, we can see that everything's going to be dissolved. So you might look at something and then, you know, you, everyone else is, uh, you know, looking at it and desiring it. But for you, it's kind of like, eh, you know, if I can, you know, if I get this thing, it is what it is. You know, and then it will be destroyed. <laughs> you know, friends, people put a lot of emphasis in, oh, what car are you driving, this, that, and the other, which, you know, we're men, right? Um, but the back of your mind, right, you know, you know, look, it doesn't matter because it's going to be destroyed. Right? This is looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right, so we know that, you know, there's, there's a nuclear war coming, right, and ultimately you can't get invested into anything, right, you know, not even your wife, not even your kids, right, because at the end of the day, you're, you're trying your best to be saved, right. This is Second Ezra 16 and 40, it says, O oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Right, but this is where we're approaching that battle. We're approaching the time of Jacob's trouble, right? Um, and we just put, you know, things right now are, are you know, they're all right, but they're going to get worse. Pursuing to Daniel 12, chapter the first verse, you know, time like never before on, on earth. We're right, Joel the second chapter, right? You've got Jeremiah 30 and 6 also, right? You know, talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, it says even be even as pilgrims upon the earth, and, and what is a pilgrim? Uh, Apostle, um, I believe it was Apostle Ramlod, uh, gave a good uh, 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 analogy to the to, to you know to this topic, in that 
you know, if you if you're just staying at a friend's house, right? You you know you're you're just staying you know with someone, right? You've been kicked out, whatever. You're staying with someone, right? And then you have your suitcase with you, right? You don't you know start putting shit in the cupboards. You know you do this. You know you don't start you know painting the room the way you want to know. You literally you keep your suitcase in the corner if you need you know because you're not expecting to be there that long, right? Now, is, is that saying, you know, is that saying, you know, uh, be uh, reckless? No, I'm not saying that. And that's the thing. It also comes with wisdom as well and how to maneuver, right? You know, for instance, the switch to say money is a defense, right? Um, so, you know, if you've got a little, you know, saving or whatever, then, yeah, you know, that's, that's, that's good, right? So money is a defense, right? But then it's understanding that at any moment, <laughs> right, this shit goes down. And, you know, uh, would you call it, your savings are gone. In fact, since that's on my mind, let me grab this as well. All right. Um, uh, this is Sirach 29 and 10. It says, lose thy money for thy brother and thy friend and let it not rust under a stone to be lost. Right. You know, so I say nothing wrong with that, you know, having some savings in that, but also, you know, don't forget to take care of brethren because you could be saving and saving and saving and tomorrow, guess what happens? Boom, you know, this economy crashes um, and whatever. So it's like, what, you know, what really are you, you know, saving for? Um, I, ho I hope I'm making sense. Uh, but it says, he that selleth, let him, be as, uh, let him be as he that fleeth away and he that buyeth. As that, as one that will lose, right? But you still know that you know you buy, but you buy with the knowledge that you might lose it, right? You sell, uh, what would you call it? With you know knowledge you know, in this world that you know the the, the uh, IRS will come take your money or whatever, what have you? You know HMRC, right? Says he that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. It's basically, it's, it's like uh, uh, being detached. Almost, right, and that's that's what we are to the world. That's why, um, you know, the world looks at us funny because it's like, why aren't you, you know, doing the things that we do? You know, why are you uh, in love of the world like we're in love, right? But that's because the things that they deem important, right, we know are trivial, right? We're like, that's, that's not even a big issue, right? You know, uh. If, you know, people talk about this Brexit, for instance, as a big thing, uh, uh, you know, for the majority of, of, of people, right, uh, here in the UK. So that's a, a big issue, whether you're British or whether you're a foreigner in the UK, right? But for us, we're just kind of like, well, yeah, you know, it's a big issue and that. But, uh, yeah, if it, if, it, uh, if it helps further our agenda such that we can uh, uh, get up out of this kingdom sooner, then, hey, Brokhti Habashi and Miao Shai. Right. This is John fifteen nineteen. It says if if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Right. So hey, because we're not of this world, because we don't, you know, take pleasure and care in certain things that people, uh, would you call it, care about, then. People are, you know, that's one of the reasons people are offended, right? You know, it's just such, so, so, like, you know, such as, uh, you know, such, such as uh, uh, the nature of the thing that we're in, right? People be like, oh, why aren't you celebrating Christmas? Or, you know, oh, why, why aren't you celebrating your birthday, right? You, you know, your birthday, you know, man, that's, you know, you, you come to Christmas, it's trivial, man, that, that ain't important, right? You read Ecclesiastes, it says, better is the day of one's death. Than the day of one's birth, right? You know, all, all the times that's mentioned in the scriptures, every something bad has happened, man. My like Job cursed the day he was die. He, uh, Job, Job cursed the day he was born, right? Um, what's his, um, John the Baptist was beheaded on Pharaoh's birthday, right? This is James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, how know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with uh, the Most High? Right, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High, right? And that's, that's the next thing, you know, because you're becoming detached, right, from the world, right? You, you would you call it? So let me read that again. Um, 
I'm a bit frazzled in the brain uh, right now, so bear with me, Salah. Where it says, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity of the most, with the most. I'm right, because would you, would you go to be, uh, uh, to be friends with the world, right? You've got to be carnal, right? You know, uh, this world loves carnality, right? You know, you, you there's, uh, there's so many more, uh, uh, important things on your mind. My right? rulership, for instance. You know, bro, you know, uh, some of the brothers, older brothers in our camp, you know, our elder Rakar, for example, he, uh, uh, every now and then will basically speak on this point of um, thinking about how to build a city, <laughs> right? You know, sim something simple like that, but it's, it, it you know, it, it is something that is, uh, uh, you know, more important because soon enough, Lord's will, you know, that's, that's the, you know, the things we're going to have to be considering, right? You know, these things are around the corner, right? Though it tarry, wait for it, you know, it shall surely come, right? And that's still first, the destruction must come, but then after, it's the kingdom, right? East was the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, right? And I just thought of another example of, you know, things that people deem important, but really we know are trivial, and that's our weddings, right? You know, uh, we just call it, uh, oh, it was a work event yesterday, and one of the uh, people there was I was telling me, you know, oh yeah, you know, I'm I'm getting married, and you know, our wedding's in 2020. I was like 2020, and then she's like, oh, you know, I spoke and said, okay, cool, sorry that you, because they're saving money for you know a wedding. Like, whereas us, oh, like you know, <laughs> Exodus 22, 16, right? Sex is marriage, going to the scriptures. Right, you know, and that's a big thing in the world, you know. But for us, it's just so damn trivial, right? Romans eight and seven says, "Because the carnal mind is enmity against Mosai, for it is not subject to the law of the Mosai, neither indeed can be." Right, so hey, we ain't supposed to be carnal, when that's what this world would have of us, right? Uh, you know, just do as your lust, do as the lust of your flesh, uh, a desire uh, for you to do. Right, which is you know why adultery is rampant in this world, right? Why uh uh, uh you know and the, the the whole general thing of would you call it, uh covetousness, right? You know which is enmity to the most. Uh, that's a sin according to the scriptures, right? It's Isaiah thirty three and six also says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure, right? So a we this knowledge and wisdom that we have through these scriptures is another reason, you know, it's one of the reasons, you know, why we look at things uh so trivially like meh, you know, it is what it is. Right, that's 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 the mindset that we have, right? You know, I'll give the example of Brexit, we know that whatever happens at this point, you know, all it's gonna do is plunge Britain down further. Right and bring uh 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 uh, uh which call it and bring sure that yeah and and uh which call it bring uh that's the word I'm looking for bring these prophecies on you know for these prophecies like I said so, so, you know bear with me Akim you know uh, you know I just had to I had to get a video done um but I'm not I'm not a hundred percent right now um but yeah what else have I got so, yeah Romans twelve and two. I believe it's the last scripture. It says, and be not conformed to this world, right? Conform with form, you know, don't be, see, don't be one with the world, right? And this and this is what it goes into, but, it, but it's like, if I, let me just read it, it says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, right? Which isn't, an, which isn't an overnight process, right? Your mind gets renewed day by day, you know, so it's, it says the inward man is renewed day by day, right? You know, because you're not going to come in, you know, you may come in, and then the first birthday part, you know, that you don't celebrate, you might feel a bit hot, right? But then time after time, you get more like, oh, man, fuck it, right? You know, you might come in and you might have been looking to propose to your woman or whatever, right? You know, and then you're, 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 you're hearing, you know, that, you know, it is uh, marriage is uh, uh, consummated by sex, right? That is marriage according to scripture over you know but you you should still like now nah, but you know we could still have a wedding which which they did in the ancient world right but it's not something you have to do now right especially now right where you're basically signing 
uh, Esau into your, into your marriage, right? You're making a contract, a three-way contract between you, well, well, really between the state, your woman, and then you, right? And then now the state, you know, as, as the puzzle's going into, now the state have uh, access to your marriage, to your relationship, right? It had zero benefit to your life whatsoever, but like I said, you, 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 you basically, you do that. And then after a process of time, you're like, you know what, man, fuck away, day. right? But it's a process of time, you know, I said all of that to say this, it's a process of time. You're not just going to come in and then, you know, the first hour you're in, you're like a super Israelite, right? Which is why in Corinthians, it speaks about how I fed you with milk. You know why? Because you was babes, right? Um, it says that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call it an end here. I says, uh, you know, uh, daughter for bearing with me, um, and uh, yeah, till the next time I say, shalom.